due at 10. Street justice in Jacksonville claims five lives in several cases of open gunfire in busy public places. The community has to wake up and start speaking up. We unravel a deadly web of retaliation centered around an innocent seven-year-old boy. Florida's governor taking a mellower stance on marijuana. How the change in leadership could help patients who use the controversial drug. Live, this is Fox 30 Action News Jax at 10. Local coverage you can count on. Developing tonight, the murder of this seven year old boy has revealed a string of retaliation shootings and street justice that played out in public places where local families work, shop, and live. Today, JSO reclassified the little boy's death as justifiable, calling his death an accident. I'm John Bachman. I'm Letitia Barriola. Action News Jack's Russell Colburn joins us live in Northwest Jacksonville. And Russell, one of those retaliation shootings is still on the minds of those who frequent that area. Yeah, Letitia, right here at Lem Turner and Dunn. It's a busy area. You can see this strip mall where we're at. And this is where two people were shot, according to police, after leaving an Easter party that was attended by hundreds. And a memorial to one of those victims continues to grow out here tonight. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office says a bitter feud led to the death of Tashawn Gallant in February 2018. Retaliation shooting sent bullets flying in public areas, like where 30 year olds Etrice Inman and Silas Irvin were killed Easter Sunday night after leaving a party. This was a scene near Lem Turner and Don. Officers say Irvin was there the day Gallant was killed. It's a concern for Doyle McClendon, who frequents the area with his son. He also has a daughter on the way. It's a shame, really. I mean, it's very disappointing that, that that's how people do and they don't care you know what I mean and that's just unfortunate unfortunate and dangerous says mad dad's chapter president Donald Foy who has seen these shootings play out in busy Jacksonville areas right in the public where bullets could have flown and hit in a house or somewhere else so he's stressing more community engagement with the police to break the so-called code of silence McClendon wants to see that happen to create a better Jacksonville for his growing family people just need to speak up speak up Utilize your voice, you know what I mean, to, 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 to help the community. Don't hinder the community by keeping quiet, because then it's only more violence. Violence multiplies. As you take another look at this growing memorial, Foy says the community should already be outraged with how things have played out. That part of the story, all new at 11. Live in Northwest Jacks, Russell Colburn, Fox 30, Action News Jacks. The Action News Jacks team spent hours poring over dozens of pages of documents related to the shooting of Tashawn Gallen on February 18th last year. Now, the documents show this all may have started with a deadly shooting in November of 2017. Police say someone upset by that murder shot and killed a woman outside of her home in January of 2018. Investigators believe her murder led to a retaliation shooting that killed Gallen in February. Then a man present at the Gallen shooting and his girlfriend were shot and killed after a party where more than 500 people were present. This was on Easter Sunday, April 1st. In all three of those murders, police say the same group of people were involved. 